The day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Saturday, November 6, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Tampa Bay Lightning vs Ottawa Senators. The offense has led the way, but the defensive unit has struggled, allowing 3.10 goals per game. Ryan McDonough, Eric Cernak, and Victor Hedman have combined for 1.6 defensive point shares and 47 blocked shots, but the back end of the unit has struggled and allowed opponents to find open shots in the defensive zone. The bright spot has been the continued dominance of Andre Vasilevsky as the starting goaltender, with a .919 save percentage and a 2.40 goals against average on 270 shots. In addition to the offense struggling, the defense is allowing 3.50 goals per game and has fallen apart in recent games. Thoma Chabot and Artem Zub have combined for 1.9 defensive point shares and 47 blocked shots to form a strong defensive pairing, but the rest of the unit has struggled and allowed opponents to carry the puck into the offensive zone at will. In addition, Philip Gustafsson has struggled as the starting goaltender with a .911 save percentage, but a 3.20 goals against average on only 169 shots. Our first betting advice is to pick Tampa Bay Lightning minus 1.5 against Vegas, Ottawa wasn't able to get much going offensively, and that proved to be their undoing in the loss. The Senators held a 16-11 edge in shots on goal in the opening period, but skated off tight at zero after 20 minutes of play. In the second period, Ottawa was outshot 16-12 and outscored 3-1 to trail by that margin at the second intermission. Ottawa gave up the first three goals of the period to trail 3-0, before Brady Tkachuk got the Senators on the board with his second of the season at 15:50 of the period. Drake Batherson and Artem Zub assisted on the marker. The third period saw the Senators outshot 12-11 and outscored 2-0 to end up on the short end of the scoreboard. Philip Gustafsson made 34 saves for Ottawa in the loss, as each team fired 39 shots on goal. Anton Forsberg is expected to get the start and goal for this contest. Against Toronto, Tampa Bay took an early lead and nearly had it stand up only to fall apart in the closing seconds of regulation before falling in overtime. The Lightning saw the shots even at 9 in the opening period and took a 1-0 lead to the dressing room at the first intermission. Pat Maroon opened the scoring with his first of the year at 13-16 off assists from Eric Cernak and Corey Perry. The second period saw the Lightning outshot 13-8, with neither side lighting the lamp, leaving the score 1-0 after 40 minutes of play. In the third period, Tampa Bay held an 8-7 shot advantage, but gave up a lone goal of the period to send the game to overtime. During the extra session, the Lightning were outshot 5-0 and gave up the winning goal to end up with a defeat. Andre Vasilevsky made 32 saves for Tampa Bay, who was outshot 34-25 in the loss. He's expected to get the start and goal for this contest as well. Our second betting advice is to pick over 